Doris Lessing, the Syrian experiments, Canopus in Argos archive series book three. And I purchased the Syrian experiments for Kindle. Shamat, the end of the old Rwanda. We were approached by emissaries from Shamat. It is not easy to believe now, but Shamat at that time was hardly even a name. Pretoria, the shameful empire, was of course not ignored by us, if for no other reason than that we were continually having to fight off incursions onto our territory. Shamat was spoken of as some dreadful sun-baked rock used by Pretoria as a criminal settlement. At any rate, they were pirates, adventurers, desperados. We had certainly not thought of them as having reached the stage of technology, and we were right. For the craft that set itself down on the plain below our headquarters was a stolen Canopean space shuttle. Four Shamatans came up the rocky road with the confidence of those invited, or at least expected, and this arrogance was typical of everything they did. In type, they were modified to head hair, localised body hair, teeth at primary animal level, well-adapted hands, feet used only for locomation. They were therefore above most of the species, though not all, currently being trained by us for colonial work, but far behind the Rwandan native species as evolved by Canopus. Though we were wondering as we entertained these extremely vigorous and energetic visitors, who had about them every mark of the barbarian and the savage. If this is after all so common, not to say basic, type everywhere throughout the three empires we knew anything about. Canopus, our own, and Pretoria would not, if put into contact with the giants, become as advanced as the northern natives, for we had recently adopted the theory that it was the colony ten giants who had the secret of rapid evolution of inferior species. I will not waste time describing our encounters with these Shamatans. There were many, because they would not take our no as final. They lacked inner discrimination as to other people's intentions. What they wanted was this. They had heard of our experiments with deliberately breeding first quality colonizers. They knew everything about these. So we had to come to terms with knowing that their spying on us had been as intensive as ours on Canopean territory. Shamat wanted to take off our hands some of our surplus females. There were very few on that horrible planet of theirs. Those they had were not able to match demand. I cannot exaggerate the crudity of their thought and their talk. While we continued to refuse, for of course there was no question of submitting any peoples under our care, to such criminal savages. And while they continued to arrive day after day at our door, as if we had not discussed everything already, 
a pretty clear and unwelcome picture of their activities was forming in our minds. <laughs> 